Hello parents. In today's video, why are iron supplements started in babies? I want to explain this. One of the frequently asked questions we receive is, you start iron drops for our baby, but no blood test was done. How is it started without knowing if there is an iron deficiency? We encounter all these questions very often. Of course, KI4. There is a reason for starting iron supplementation in the fourth month. Iron, as you know, is not just a substance found in red blood cells in our body. In general, in known cases of iron deficiency, anemia occurs first. We can say that the side effects of this anemia may include conditions like fatigue and loss of appetite. However, iron is one of the main micronutrients for all the cells in our body. Therefore, it is not correct to associate iron deficiency only with anemia. It is a micronutrient uh, related to cellular health that affects all our cells. That's why we want to protect our children from iron deficiency. So, why is iron started in infants? What about YA? While in the womb, babies start to store iron in their bodies during the last three months. At birth, they are born with a sufficient iron reserve in their bodies. This iron is sufficient during the period of growth and development of their cells. However, consider a baby born weighing about 3.5 kilograms, approximately four. In four months, they can approach seven to 7.5 kilograms. So there is a doubling in cellular growth. This means there is an increase in cells, both numerically and volumetrically. The amount of iron stored in the womb cannot keep up with this cellular uh, excess. Therefore, we know that iron deficiency begins in babies by the fourth month. For this reason, we start giving iron drops to babies in the fourth month. What is the situation with premature babies? Premature babies in this third month, since they cannot complete the iron storage during the last three months in the womb, they may encounter problems related to iron deficiency at an earlier stage. Therefore, for them, we start in the second. We start in the month, iron supplementation. This is also the case for premature babies. In family health centers, family medicine and health units, iron supplements are provided free of charge. For iron supplements in the fourth month are usually used in drop form. There are uh, many iron uh, drops available on the market as products. When choosing among these, attention should be paid uh, to the following. It is preferred that they are paraben free, without colorants and preservatives. After starting this iron, not just one box, we recommend continuing the iron drops at least until the 9th or 12th month. Iron medicine is given approximately one drop per cube. It is given to babies. Of course, the variety of these products can also vary according to their content. Therefore, it is important to discuss the amount of iron drops with your doctor when they are recommended. This key point is important in starting and continuing iron drops. Iron passes uh, into breast milk, but there is not enough iron in breast milk. Therefore, in those who are fed only with breast milk, the importance of iron supplementation is even greater. In babies fed with breast milk plus formula, if the amount of formula is higher, that is, if the amount of iron-rich formula is higher, you can consult your doctor about continuing the iron medication. Because this is babies consuming approximately 750 to 1 liter of formula daily may not need additional iron because these formula milks, the iron content of the formulas you know on the market, are quite sufficient. Of course, this should not be interpreted as follows. There is no situation where the iron in breast milk is insufficient and all babies fed with breast milk will have iron deficiency. We are already four. We also supplement breast milk with iron every month. Until when should we provide iron supplementation? Both the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Pediatric Associations in Turkey recommend iron supplementation until at least the ninth. It is recommended that iron supplements be given until the baby is one month old or even one year old. We would like to perform a blood count for babies at nine or 12 months yeah, to check their blood count because if iron deficiency is still present, we may sometimes want to continue the iron product. If the iron level is sufficiently good, we stop the iron supplement. These were the things I wanted to tell you about iron supplementation in babies. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy.